Hands-on practice is the best way for students to learn clinical skills, but a medical emergency is often not the best time to train students. So how can students get these skills in a safe and reliable manner? We use simulators to help our students build their confidence up and build competence or increase their performance in the clinical area. And it's a safe area to practice in so nobody really dies even though you can see this gentleman is massively hemorrhaging and isn't doing so well. We use it to help nurses to prepare for medical surgical for acute care. We use it for mental health um, to help teach in communication situations. Sometimes we use simulators like this, other times we use patient actors and sometimes we even use virtual simulation. What are some of the key uh, advantages that you see of having these? It's better for patient safety. Um, for instance, we have research to show that it actually decreases the number of near misses or potential medication errors. What kind of medical situations can you simulate here? We try to make it as realistic as possible. We have things like simulated blood, we have simulated urine in a catheter, we can use something called moulage, which is like makeup, so if the person's had a trauma, they've been, say, in a car accident or something like that, they could have massive scrapes. Of fractures, we can start IVs. The patients talk, they have breath sounds, heart sounds, bowel sounds, they can have seizures, and they can sweat. That's a lot of things going on at once. Does it ever get a little bit too real for some of the students? Sometimes students can identify with a certain situation and it brings them right back to maybe a traumatic situation they have with a family member. And so we have a very um, deliberate and intentional way that we deliver simulation. They would come into a pre-briefing situation, so they would be prepped up, they would get the report on the patient and so on. We also orientate them to the simulation environment so they know what they're going to see. And then the most important part, I think, of simulation is we do a debriefing. We look at what went well, what didn't go so well, and we're always watching for signs that a student might be in distress or suddenly identify with a situation like this. The students love simulation. This class they line up for at the door and they don't want to leave after simulation. So it's very engaging for students. It really is hands-on, so it really helps them to link their theory to their practice, and they love it. Check out our website to learn more about how we teach and learn.